All right, now we're going to look at selection tricks. Create polygon primitives, interactive creation off, make a cube, go over to the inputs of the cube, click and drag to highlight all three of these, and then in the viewport, middle mouse button, click and drag. Okay. Now, if I right-click and go to face, you can see that it has more faces on the polygon structure. So, this is really the hardest thing for students when you first start out, is selecting things. In other words, for me, it's no big deal to go in here, select four faces over here, four faces over here, six faces over here, and two faces or four faces over here, and then decide later on to deselect some of these faces. That's no big deal. But the navigation really does hang up students when it comes down to it with what I just did at first, until you get used to 3D. So um, let's highlight some faces. I'm holding shift here to select many faces. Now, let's think of a way we can select the internal faces here. Well, I could hold shift, click and drag, and that will make a marquee selection. But on the back side, I have now a whole bunch of faces highlighted. Okay. And if you go to four on the keyboard, you can see this. How would I deselect these? Well, I can deselect using control. So there's control with a marquee selection. So select is to uh, highlight many, and then control is to deselect. Let's go back to six on the keyboard. What if I wanted to add to a selection, and one was already highlighted? In other words, I like this one. But let's hold shift and try to add it to a selection. You'll see that it reverses that. It reverses the selection when you hold shift. So if you want to add to a selection, you hold control and shift. Okay. And if you want to deselect it, again, control. So practice using those methods right there just for a little bit. I know it seems weird, but, you know, go through, practice, see if you get the concept down. And then, um, after you practice a little bit, try this. What if I wanted to select the ones going all the way around? Well, there's a method to that. Um, you can go to Edge, Control, right click, two edge ring, two edge ring. That highlights all the edges. And then if you go control right click, two faces, two faces, I can highlight them all going around. Let's go to edges. If you triple click an edge, well, I think it's double click actually. Double click an edge, it goes all the way around. This is an edge loop. We'll We'll get into edge loop and edge ring creations here in a little bit, but right now we're just looking at selecting these things. Hold shift if you want to highlight many. Again, control to deselect by triple clicking on them. At any one time, you can convert one selection over to another. In other words, hold shift to highlight all three of these edges these edge loops, and then control right click to faces. You can see it quickly goes to faces. And you can quickly control right click and go to UVs or to vertices. Okay. Just know how to convert selections, it comes in handy.
Another thing is, let's say I have two objects. Let's take Shift D, for example. I have two objects now, and I'm just going to go like this to them. Hold Shift, and you can highlight two objects. Go Mesh Combine. Now these objects share the same components. In other words, I can right click on it and go to vertice and highlight a vertice on this one or this one. They share components. But if I highlight one face on these and go control right click to shell, I am now allowed to highlight one of the actual objects. Okay, so that is a shell. Control right click to shell. Okay, if you want to separate objects, you just go mesh separate. Their centers get screwed up, so for each one of these objects, you have to go modify center pivot. So those are some of the selection tricks I know. Um, we'll get into many, many more, but for right now, just starting out, I need you to practice those. Face, add, just like that. Last but not least, the lasso tool. So the lasso tool allows you to uh, make a selection like this. So let's go to face, hold control and shift, and you can highlight faces just like that. This comes in handy when it's an object that's uh, organic shape instead of inorganic. But the lasso tool is great in a pinch when it comes down to, let's say at a weird angle, I need to deselect these faces and I can't get a marquee in here. Okay, how would I deselect them? Hold the control. So just practice that for a little bit, highlighting different faces, deselecting different faces, switching between components, and then go on to the next video.